Even though I already you're gonna, know what it is. You're gonna love it. Is it gonna look just you're like You're gonna like it. So this happened. Emma learned how to climb up on the bar stool, which is actually terrifying. She just dropped something. She's getting so big now. She can actually climb up here by herself and sit and do Play-Doh. And not just up here. Everywhere. <laughs> I kind of like it though, because she can sit here while I like cook and do stuff at the table and I can just talk with her and play and I really like it. You're getting so big. Is that play dough? It's ball. It's dough? It's a ball. Oh, it's a ball. Uh oh. Whoa. You ripped it. So on Memorial, I think it was Memorial Day. I thought it was the fourth, but now I'm thinking it was Memorial Day. I bought these bunch of balloons. We've never used them before, but I bought them and I completely forgot about them. And Emma found them this morning and she ran up to me and she was like, Please? so I told her today, we're gonna do some balloons. Can you say balloon? Yeah. Balloon. <laughs> There's still water in there. Are you ready? All right, step out of the water. Can you step out? Ready? Whoa. It looks like a bunch of grapes. That's cool, huh? Ready? One, two, three. We did it! We did it! What are those? Do it again. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Ah. Ah, you did it! They're all gone now. Okay. You want to do it again? There's no more. There's some more. They're all gone. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah. We should buy some more, huh? More, please. <laughs> more, please. <laughs> My mom, when I was a kid, and we would have these at birthday parties or whatever, she would always make a game whoever can pick up the most because this is the worst part of water balloons is picking up all the tiny little pieces. So if we do these at Emma's birthday party, I think I'll do that, make it a competition. Who can grab the most water balloon pieces? I wanted to thank you guys all for your suggestions, by the way. I talked about her birthday a couple vlogs ago, like a while ago, actually, I think, and what you guys thought we should do. And we've decided we're gonna do a very small, mostly family and some close friends party for her. Um, just like a couple of friends, honestly, with their kids so that she can celebrate. And we're only gonna do it in the backyard. So it's gonna be an outdoor only party. She's looking for more. And that'll be next month when she turns two. So I think it'll be the best option, honestly. There's not a lot other things we can do for her this year. We can't have a big party like we had planned. So a couple friends will probably get a little bounce house or water slide and we'll make the most of it. Do we have any Costco plans soon, like to go? Because I want to buy those balloons in bulk for her, honestly, her birthday. I really want a huge bag of Maui onion chips. Oh so let's my. do it. I want to get like those, I think they're called bunch of balloons. And I, I bet they have them in bulk at Costco. I'm sure they probably do. Because for her birthday party, that would be perfect. I think they come with like 20 in the one I had, which was That's gone in two seconds. What do you want? You want bubbles. Yeah, I know. We can't find the bottom half. We're going to have to do it later. Ariel, you want Ariel? 
Wow, so pretty. I know Rochelle had mentioned to you guys that she wanted me to begin making a stool for Emma so that we can have her up at the counter with us to, I don't know, to be able to wash her hands, brush her teeth, all sorts of stuff if mom wants to do some projects with her. But I wanted to show you guys, it's not completely done yet. I finished building it, but I haven't sanded it or stained it, but I wanted to show you guys how it came out. Rochelle hasn't seen it yet. I'm gonna show her in just a minute, but I still have to sand it and then I think we're just gonna stain the whole thing. I don't know if I wanna stain these one by threes one color and then the two by fours, the platform and step another color. I'm not sure, I'm gonna ask Rochelle and see what she wants to do. Even though I you're gonna, know what it is. You're gonna love it. Gonna like it just you're like gonna like it. Head. I hope you're gonna like it. I think I did a pretty I dang good job. Wake up the boys. Yeah, I got it. Okay, okay guy, all right guy. Perfect! Oh, is it, so you're gonna sand it. I'm well, I was gonna ask you, oh yeah, I'm gonna sand it, but what do you wanna do? Do you wanna stain it? Do you wanna stain it like all one color? Do you wanna do, I was thinking what might look cool is doing this one color and then doing the platform, maybe a darker stain. What yeah. do you think? You wanna do that? I think stain is better than paint because I think paint, she'll get it dirty. Oh, I agree, yeah. Fingers. So, oh, I love it. Yeah. Wanna go try it? Wanna yeah, try let's it. do it. Is it heavy enough to hold my weight? Uh, I'm assuming so. Oh my gosh, look at that. I love it. <laughs> look at that clearance. That's crazy. You're gonna have to make a match. I love it. Oh, I love it. They can both be up here yeah. at the same time. It's perfect. It's pretty sturdy, huh? Look at that. Oh, my weight, right? That's really That'd good. Be good. <laughs> it's better than the ones that you can buy on Etsy. Hey, and it's cheaper than the it's ones you can buy cheaper. on Etsy. <laughs> it only took me like 23 hours to build. I'm just kidding. Oh my God. <laughs> Nowadays, I mean, it's a long well, nowadays. That's the beauty of having three kids. So, if you guys have been watching our videos for even a little bit, you saw a recent vlog where we took yeah. Emma's pacifier away and how it was really hard because she hadn't really grown attached to anything besides the pacifier. She's doing really good, honestly, so I'm not like bummed about it. But to make it easier for the boys, I decided I wanna get them both lovies when they're younger, and so I'm gonna introduce them today. I got this one for Ruben, it's green with dogs. Oh, and I got this one for Asher. It's like a red orange and it's got mammoths on it. These are from the company Milk Barn, by the way. And I just, I'm gonna start introducing them while I'm nursing them. So I'm gonna like put theirs on my chest when I nurse them to kind of give them that sense of comfort and rub it against them so that they can get, you know, attached to these for when they do or when they are able to sleep with blankets. I just feel like it'll make the transition when we have to take away their passies, which we're gonna do at a younger age, a lot easier if they have something else that they are attached to. And I got these because you can upgrade these to bigger ones. They have um, like bigger lovies on their site in the exact same patterns so that if they ever need a bigger one, that'll be easy. This one is for you, Bubba. And this one is for you. Emma. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so we just got in the car. We're headed over to our friend's house for dinner and unbeknownst, is that how you say it? Unbeknownst them? We will be asking them to be Asher and Ruben's godparents. So if you don't know, Emma's godparents are Kaylee and Patrick. And to us, godparents are more like people in their lives that are going to help guide them, that they can go to, that they can always have there for them. And obviously Kaylee and Patrick will be like that for the boys too, because we're like best friends. But we wanted the boys to have their own set of godparents that they were, you know, felt, felt connected and like special with. So we decided who we're gonna ask. I found this on Amazon this little godparent frame and my plan is to ask to get a picture of them holding the boys because I don't think we have one yet actually no. Joey hasn't even met them yet because of everything that's been going on and I want to get a picture and like right when I take the picture I want to be like oh that's such a good one do you want to put it in this frame and then hand them the frame I think what? either that or Justin's gonna say say godparents <laughs> Something like that. Uh, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be really cute. I think they're going to love it. If you don't know who I'm talking about, we're talking about our friends Beth and Joey. 
we do not show them a lot on camera because they are not um, huge camera people. <laughs> we have this ongoing joke that I only film her when she's crying because I've only ever filmed her when I've done pregnancy announcements and she always cries because she always gets so excited. But I have to film this and um, she's gonna end up being happy that I did because it's gonna be a special moment and she's probably gonna cry again. So we are headed to Chipotle right now. Why'd you go this way? This is a weird way to go, right? weird and uh, we're grabbing dinner for us and them and the kids and then we're headed over to their house and I feel like they're gonna know something's up but I don't really care it's special regardless wow babe you got enough food I've never gotten this much food from them before. are you ready to go eat okay they're gonna go okay we're like a holding circus these days. Just call me P.T. Barnum. <laughs> There's five of us and a huge bag of food and um, just everything else in the world. All right, let's go. Come on, Chica. Oh, man. And I boys. I don't have to work out anymore. This is all I need right here. Let's Whoa, go inside. Hey. Ooh, pretty. Let's go. You want to go ring the doorbell? Can you ring the doorbell? Come right here. Knock on the door. Say knock, knock. There you go. They're here, they're here. <laughs> no, I Dude, they're so them. mellow right now. I love it. Do you want to do something for your fence? Okay. Why are you taking your fence? <laughs> but what if we were out crazy? Let's take Why a picture. So okay, okay. Let's okay. take a picture. You, then Hold on, the lighting's okay. pretty bad. Godparents. <laughs> 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 we love you guys. Hi, buddy. So we actually needed a picture to put in there. Love you, brother. Oh, oh, of course. I'd be honored. They're like, no. <laughs> so I then. Oh, hey. Down just now. I was like, she is pregnant. She is. <laughs> These ones are having, not those, those two, but this one is having a hard time going down tonight. She started kicking the wall when she gets mad in her room, so we hear it out here. And uh, she's having a hard time going down tonight. Justin doesn't want me to film him right now. He's putting the dishes away and he's not wearing his shirt. Hey. <laughs> but I am gonna end the vlog tonight. It was a this good night. Is it's like, oh my God. It was a good night, but we are exhausted. We got home about an hour past Emma's bedtime. So that's probably why she's having a hard time going down. But the boys went down really easy because they were tired. And uh, anyways, that's gonna be it for today's vlog. We love you, Beth and Joey, because I know you're watching this. And um, we'll talk to you again soon.